Take me to the Japan story. Don't don't bail on that Japan story for me. All right. Okay. Well, it's just sad. I it, was I. Yeah. It's not sad. It's not. No, will because information is powerful. I it, see shrinking population, and I get sad. But may, but maybe the the more people that talk about it, the only opportunity to have any influence over okay. it. Unless well, in, I didn't want to end it this way. I, I didn't put this in the cycle properly. <laughs> oh, you're blaming yourself for having wanted, put it at the very like, end? Yeah, like a happy mood when we uh, leave. Listen, but. listen, listen, listen. It doesn't, you can interpret it as you wish. I think, like, you could basically flip anything into the optimistic version of it. Sure. Which is opportunity, right? Yeah. There's opportunity always for people to, to, to change something or to impact something or to come up with a plan or whatever. But first you have to envision whatever the problem happens to be, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like in the case of TikTok, if all you're watching is stuff like that last clip, you can put it down. Sure. Right? Sure. But you need to be aware of the forces that are at play. And the same thing goes over here because the truth of the matter is that like a lot of people's impression of the scope of the demographic shift is not, you know, we could probably ignore it for too long to the extent that you actually can't impact or change it. Mm. And like whatever it is, whatever it is you want to focus on, whether it's like population or the environment or some sort of so social issue or whatever it is you want to focus on. Anyway, in this case, it's actually a little bit interesting how this came to be, this witch house situation in Japan. Mm. And so essentially what you have is you have vacant houses in Japan because of an aging population. Now, previously, that was mostly affecting rural areas mm. where property values and things like that, it just didn't necessarily make sense. For There was not much you could do. It would cost you more to tear the house down without having an occupant. Mm. There's nobody to rent it. You just have a dwindling population, so you're going to have empty houses in, in less desirable places. Mm. But now it's starting to reach into urban centers. And the name that they have for it, I mean, they obviously have a Japanese name, but the, you have a, another sort of like urban myth type name to it, which is witch houses. That's not a good name. Why, why are they going to go with witch houses? You're so bothered what? by this article. Yeah, very much so. You're bothered by all the... It's a sad sign, you know? And that doesn't help. Witch house. <laughs> Man, you're Can't so, they call it just like you're so an empty house? You're so, so, so sensitive here. Listen, but, okay, maybe there's a reason for it. They're called Akia or abandoned homes. They have spread like mold in the past few years. The last time the government made a count five years ago, it, was, it found 8.5 million houses standing empty nationwide, which is 13% of housing. However, they believe that by 2038, it could be as much as one in three. One in three Japanese premises vacant. Okay, this is the reason why they call it witch houses. You want to read that? They are the witch houses of Japan, mysterious tokens of social decay in one of the wealthiest societies in the world. See, there's a, it's sort of That's like dark. A, but there's a warning to it. That's the yeah. point. That's the upside, right? Like an old tree fertilizes the next one. You understand that, Will? Yeah, I get it. But the fact that nothing comes good out of a witch. <laughs> You know I mean? You're too focused evil. on the terminology. You're too focused. No, actually, didn't you watch? Huh? That's not true, actually. Aren't they witches in the thing I was talking about? Which one? Come on, man. The Harry Potter one. Are they wizards? What's uh, the difference? Yeah. What's the difference? This There's is all, both. This is all besides the point over here. <laughs> Still fiction. This is all, yeah, this is all besides <laughs> the point over here. <laughs> this number has doubled in one generation. In okay. one generation, the speed of it is the part that people don't get. Right. The speed of it is crazy. Right? Like, if 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 you go to one-third in one more generation by 2038, and then you go to half, and it's the part I've talked about in the past, which is, it's not just that the houses are vacant. It's what does it do to your entire street? Hmm. Right? Once you have a pocket of these abandoned houses, it's like, well, why is yours so desirable? Hmm. Right, especially in environments where often you perceive the value as the land value itself, mm -hmm. where you're saying even if the house is old or whatever, you could tear it down and still have some degree of uh, value associated with this investment you made in this particular piece of property. 
So previously, this was mostly a phenomenon out in the countryside, as I had said uh, before. But now it's coming into certain wards in Tokyo, apparently, uh, including desirable neighborhoods. Hmm. So 50,000 abandoned houses in Setagaya, more than any municipality in Japan. And the interesting part here is that uh, in many cases, it's just not even feasible to, to tear. It would be more expensive to tear it down than what you'd be able to get for it in a sale. You see, you get that weird flip type thing mm -hmm. happening. A cluster of abandoned houses affects the value of those around it, what they're calling witch houses. So people are pissed. You could be pissed about it too, Will. Uh -huh. You could be sitting as the neighbor saying, somebody take care of that, and so much so that some local governments are imposing taxes on abandoned properties. They're saying, you got to knock that down or else you're going to pay tax on it mm. because it's affecting the property values across the thing. So at some point, this reaches into all types of an ec economic spaces. And then this individual says the core of the problem is insoluble because Japan's population is shrinking. You, you lose 2 million people. They all have to have lived somewhere. Right. And then the premises follow suit. Now, in the case of Japan, all right, now here's my optimistic spin because you, you, you doubt me too much. You doubt me too much, Will. You J lost me at witch house. Japan is a place, one of the wealthiest places in the world, which also is, by all accounts, a desirable location for a lot of, other, for a lot of people that aren't currently there, mm. in, including your pal PewDiePie. Yeah, but he's only one guy. I believe his wife is pregnant right now, by yeah, the way. Yeah, well, three. Future three. Anyway, that's not my point. My point is... And they own one house. My point is... You got to open the borders. Yeah. You got to allow for immigration, which is a thing they've been incredibly sure. restrictive about in the past. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you're facing all these signs and symbols right now. That now's the time to let people move. Let people move there. Now, I I know that's probably extremely controversial because they had whatever policies they've had for however long. It's been a, pr a pretty homogenous society, and maybe that's the reason it's as cool as it is. Yeah. But lots of people think it's cool, and I think. I think there's plenty of people that come in there and, and buy some of these witch houses over here. Yeah. And, and, in, and in the end, what other option is there? Because everything else plummets. Mm. Everything else goes down without it. And, and granted, you could look at it from a global scale and say, this is an eventuality for everything. That's pretty doom and gloom in and of itself. But there's a really short-term fix for this. And controversial, yes. But let some people move in. What well, say, yeah, well? I, I, I'm glad that you have a optimistic look. Let some people move in, revitalize, yeah. uh, bring their own specific energy. I mean, we've seen this happen in other places. Mm -hmm. I know that in the meantime, Japan will lose some of its Japan, right? But what's the other option? You, you can lose some of your Japan or you can lose all of your Japan. One generation, dude. Yeah. Got to make some moves. Yeah. That's the optimistic angle. It's never too late to make some moves. That's the message. That's why you got to read the story. It's never too late to make some moves. As long as you're still breathing. Yeah. Make some moves. You can't ignore it. You got a leak in the roof? Fix the damn leak. Uh-huh. Got a leak in the roof? Fix the damn leak before you got a flood. Yeah. Or else your house is going to turn into a witch house. <laughs> <laughs> oh...